For more on this story, we're pleased to be joined by the former Director of Central Intelligence, Ambassador James Woolsey. Jim is also the chairman of the Council of the Foundation for the Defense of Democracies. He joins us from Newsmax, Washington. Jim, Israeli Ambassador Danon on Newsmax TV yesterday saying we really need to look not just at the violence, but the incitement behind it on the part of the Palestinians. Do you see it that way? Absolutely. Uh, these things don't just uh, happen spontaneously. Uh, somebody somewhere in uh, the Palestinian Authority or one of the terrorist organizations has started orchestrating this. Uh, I feel pretty confident of that without any uh, actual uh, immediate information. It just uh, uh, does not look like uh, uh, spontaneous lone wolves uh, breaking loose. Could this violation of a religious site inflame the conflict and prompt even more retaliation? Uh, absolutely it could. Uh, I mean, I hope uh, the Israelis uh, uh, keep uh, things as calm as they can under the circumstances, but one has to sympathize with uh, them because uh, they are the ones who are being attacked. Uh, uh, both uh, uh, some uh, 50 or 60 stabbing attacks in uh, the last couple of three uh, weeks, uh, and uh, now uh, the, the burning uh, of the tomb. Uh, uh, the uh, Israelis live in a rough neighborhood and uh, uh, trying to uh, keep your cool while responding uh, appropriately uh, and sometimes toughly is uh, um, a uh, difficult proposition. Uh, Jim, we would be remiss if we didn't touch on the other major story. Of course, the president yesterday pulling a 180, saying that, what, about 9,500 American troops will stay in Afghanistan with an eventual drawdown to about 5,500. Colonel Derek Harvey was on this program yesterday. He supported the decision. Let's listen to what he had to say. This mission needs to continue for a number of years. It could be five to ten more years to sustain and make the contributions necessary to get this country on its feet. We have an interest in this, and that's why we ask for the sacrifices of our service people. Jim, do you agree with Derek Harvey's analysis? Well, there's good news and bad news about uh, what uh, the president uh, decided. Uh, the good news is uh, that he didn't uh, pull out of Afghanistan uh, completely the way he did out of uh, Iraq, uh, thereby uh, setting up uh, uh, immediate uh, serious problems for uh, maintaining Afghanistan outside the rule of the Taliban. Uh, the bad news is that he only uh, agreed to keep about half of what his uh, military advisors were telling him. Uh, there are going to be at uh, four bases instead of just one. They may have some more uh, uh, operational flexibility there, but it's still a smaller contingent than the uh, military believes is necessary uh, in order to uh, try to keep uh, Afghanistan from uh, going uh, the way of Iraq and uh, other uh, chaotic uh, countries in that part of the world. Uh, at least, uh, although President Obama made a terrible decision uh, uh, back uh, several years ago, when uh, he came into office seeing that the surge had been successful and without wanting to have a status of forces agreement uh, with the uh, uh, Iraqis, he, uh, uh, Iraqi government, uh, he uh, uh, ended up uh, with a situation in which he pulled everybody uh, uh, out of uh, Iraq and turned a war in which we were doing quite well at that point because of the surge uh, from a near win or at least a possible win uh, to a loss. Um, now um, he's doing about half of that in Afghanistan. He's going with about half of what the military has uh, advised him. I don't think it's wise, but it's better than he did in uh, Iraq and it's better than a lot of people uh, feared he might do. We'll have to leave it right there, Ambassador. We do thank you for your time. Jim Wilson, former director of Central Intelligence. Let